Hello, Taurus. It is me, K Star, you guys. So, Taurus, I hope you guys are utilizing this full moon and Leo energy. And I hope this video populates or shows up on YouTube and not just sitting there cycling. But, however, the full moon is on um, the energy is, is good, I think, like two days after um, today. So, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to be using the Moonology deck, and I'm going to tap into your energy to clarify with some tarot. And then we're going to go into whatever decisions that you need to make and see if we can get an answer from Spirit, okay, to help you out in this full moon in Leo. Okay, so let's get going for my bull game, Spirit. What message do you have for Taurus? It's Moonology. What message do you have for Taurus? Okay. We have here, oh, you are good enough. Or we have here, a time to give rather than take. Let me see. And we also have here, prosperity lies ahead. Hmm. What's the bottom of the deck here? Conclusions are within reach. So it's something here. Can, uh, I almost called you cancer, Taurus. That is coming to head. Um, a time to give rather than take. I don't know. You are good enough. Prosperity lies ahead. So basically, you know what, um, Taurus, I'm going to say. And this is full moon in Virgo, new moon in Virgo, and new moon in Taurus. Okay, so you showed up here. Um, you know, spirit is saying it's going to happen. I feel like some of you guys right now may be going through a tough time of getting that type of energy. Just stay focused. I want to clarify a time to give rather than a time to take. This could be basically that spirit is saying that maybe you need to, um, to give back more. I don't know, possibly with your time, whatever that may be. For those of you, you know, however this resonates, take it as it may but i'm just getting energy like you guys are going through a lot right now i don't know let me see let's clarify you are good enough for taurus someone rising in venus spirit what do you want to tell taurus when you are good enough what do you want to tell taurus when you are good enough <clears throat> okay so like I said, when I was saying going through a tough time, I'm going to put this up right. You got the nine of pentacles here in reverse. So this could be um, maybe you guys are in debt. Okay. Maybe you have lost a job, lost a lot of money. You could have possibly lost a home. Okay. You may not be doing well as far as health wise, but this is total, total, total earth energy. But I'm going to put it upright. Okay. It came in reverse uh, because I do feel recovery. And this is why it says prosperity lies ahead okay so this is like this person here is like really looking forward so i feel like Taurus, like whatever difficult times that you are dealing with right now that spirit is going to give you the building blocks and this is why it makes sense a time to give rather than to take you may think right now that you don't have a lot to give really i feel like you're being tested right now honestly tested with the divine to see whether or not if you really feel like if, if you really do believe like the divine has your back a time to give rather than to take. Um, I'm just hearing from Spirit saying like you really don't need to take from anyone to get help out of this. The situation is going to mend itself is what I'm hearing here. And that's why it's saying prosperity lies ahead. Look, look, it lies ahead. So um, you're going to recover. You're going to have restoration from this. Let me see. Let's go to the other card here. A time to give rather than take, Spirit. What you want to tell Taurus with this? A time to give rather than to take, Spirit. What you want to tell Taurus with this? A time to give rather than take, Spirit. What you want to tell Taurus about this? You see the sun. The truth. Opening up. I feel like whatever... Okay, Taurus, whatever um, difficult time you're going through right now, you need to be real optimistic about it because there's a lot of truth that's going to... I feel like through this hard time you're going through, there's going to be some unveiling. 
there's going to be some blessings that's going to come from this. This is why it's saying here, prosperity is lying ahead. Yes. Yes, it's going to be brighter days. Like spirit is really paying attention to the tears that you are crying, the concerns. Okay. Don't think that you, you for some of you, you may feel like I don't have enough in my account. I don't know. No, no. This is all about energy and flow. Energy and flow. And something here, you got here at the bottom of the deck, the three of wands here in reverse. So I feel like something was taken off and then it stopped with the three of wands here in reverse. Or there was an obstacle here, but it doesn't matter. Because look, you have the sun card here. Okay? Truth being revealed. Happiness coming. I mean, look at this. He or she is looking, but look what's ahead. Okay? Let me see. What is this prosperity lies ahead here, Spirit? The Taurus. What is this prosperity lies ahead here, Spirit? The Taurus. You have here the King of Wands, but it's in reverse. Okay? So, what I'm going to say to you, and I'm going to put it upright, is that, yeah... The king of action. So it's time to take action on something. Um, I'm also want to say here too, with this king of wands in reverse, you could have been dealing with someone with an abusive type of energy or whatever. For some of you, someone who was not like even even on this car here, it says the companion. This person was not being a companion to you. Whatever this is, Taurus, it's like you're going to do this as a lone wolf. You're not even going to need this individual. They're going to regret the fact that you're the one who hold the key. You're the one who, you're the prosper, the prosperity lies with you, Cancer. I almost called you Cancer. Taurus, not with this individual here. This could even possibly be a boss. But some of you could have possibly gotten got fired. Okay, but you're gonna recover from this. I'm telling you, don't don't sweat the small stuff. This is this is small shit, Taurus. This is small shit, Taurus. Okay, Taurus. So Spirit just said, okay, so y'all need to light green candles, green candles and black candles. I always like to start off with my black candles first and let it burn, and then do my green candles. Um, and then um, dress the candles in. I like to like put florida water around it i always keep this you guys this guys you guys this is like a must like this is a must 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 have how you listen to tara don't have florida water and i will put it on a candle but i let it dry like don't light the candle while it's wet but i just put enough like i rub it in my hands and put it on the candle you know but just protect your energy space okay prosperity lies ahead like 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 it's not it's not an end all See the Eight of Pentacles here in reverse. So for some of you guys, you need to really like start working on your craftsmanship, your skills. Um, That can also help you to get out of whatever this debt may be or this lack of that you feel that you have. Really, there's no such thing as lack. It's all in our mind space. But yeah, but this looks amazing to me. You don't see it coming, but it is. Okay. Let's see, Spirit. So as far as the decision-making <clears throat> for Taurus, someone rising in Venus, help them with the decision-making. What message? Or give us confirmation. Now, I don't know what decision it is that you need to make. I'm just going to put out the cards, and I'm going to clarify the cards for you. So just think, you know, whatever decision it is, and you go for it, okay? So Spirit... What's this decision? Help us out here with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and in Venus. It's a decision that Taurus need to make, Spirit. Give us confirmation on what you want us to know about a decision. Or should they or should they not? The Taurus. Uh-oh. Sun, Moon, Rising, and in Venus, Spirit. Our bull game. Mm-hmm. The seven of wands here is something here, spirit, do not want you to stand your ground with. Oh, and the page of swords here. Something here, okay, spirit is saying, I'm, I'm, this is what I'm going to say. Oh, yeah, see that unstable energy, the emperor. 
here in reverse, like I said, and the King of Wands here was in reverse here too. So this is energy of, especially with the Emperor and the King of Wands, this is someone who like you can't communicate with. There's no reasoning with this individual or with this type of energy. So I'm going to say here, like with this Seven of Wands here in reverse here and this Four of um, Swords here in reverse, Spirit is saying like, don't even try to stand your ground with this. It's not even worth it. You need to work on new ideas. I mean, look at the light bulbs here. Okay, so Spirit is going to be sending you messages. Some of y'all may be researching um, some things too as well. You are being watched too as well. Some of y'all, I hope y'all don't even have, I hope y'all don't have co-workers um, on y'all Facebook and on y'all social media because it's not a good thing. If you do, you need to get rid of them. Okay, because that could be the cause of a problem too in the workspace. Coming up with ideas, but also too like with this four swords in reverse, this is too all about recovery. And also, too, somebody here wants to reconnect with you, too, as well. The Four of Swords can, in reverse, can also, too, mean a reconciliation. Hell, a job may even ask you to come back, but you really need to think it through. Okay? You really need to think it through. Let me see. Spirit, what you want to tell us about this Seven of Wands in reverse here? The seven of wands here in reverse here for Taurus spirit. What is that they need to let go? So that's the decision, you know, for seven of wands here. In reverse here, spirit for Taurus. What is it that they need to let go? Okay, the three of swords here, heartbreak. You could have been in a third party situation. Um Somebody ganging up on you at work, let go, reconcile. But I do feel like somebody want to reconcile with you. Spirit needs, like, it's something that you no longer need to fight with. You need to heal from the situation, okay? Let me see. What is this four of swords here in reverse here? Because apparently you took a break on something, you know? Now, 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 you're t now, now you're ready to get on out there. What is this three of swords here in reverse here? I'm sorry, the four of swords here in reverse here, spirit for Taurus. See, this king of wands keeps showing up. Yep, yeah, you need to let it go. If you are in the mode of what you should do about this situation, you need to let it go. You got the king of wands here in reverse. Again, and this one, it came in reverse here too. But I put it upright for prosperity, better times ahead. So really this situation, a real reason why Spirit is saying you need to let it go because it will hold you back. Okay, remember now the Nine of Pentacles came in reverse, which means a loss of money could be debt. Okay, overspending, a loss of a home possibility too. Okay, but I put it upright for the energy, the sun card, truth coming out. So there's brighter days ahead. Let me see, what is this um, page of swords here, Spirit? This page of swords here. So that king of wands do want to come back. Okay. With everybody grown. But what's this page of swords here, spirit? The Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and in Venus. Uh-oh. What's this about here, spirit, for Taurus? You see the six of pentacles here. Okay. So guess what? Spirit's going to help you. You're going to find your balance. This new beginning that you're going to have. And this is a page. Anything that you, because I'm getting energy here too, like whatever this new spark is and you let this go, especially if it's dealing with money, where you're going, you are going to get more money. Like you're going to find the balance. You're going to get, you're going to get paid your worth, whether it's a relationship or money. This is why I said the nine of pentacles is here. This is why you have the sun card here. Do you understand now? Okay. So, with the question on what you should do, what you should decide is showing you. Apparently, the seven of wands here came up in reverse. The spirit is saying, you need to let it go so you can get here. Because there's some payback. This is just giving me energy of spirit just paying you back and rebuilding. Okay? 
the three of pentacles here in reverse yep and the truth because some things gonna come out look here yeah there was some injustice done to you so now let's take from um the energy oracle deck spirit what do you want to tell um taurus spirit What else you want to tell Taurus Spirit? What else you want to tell Taurus Spirit with this energy? What positive message, Spirit? What you want to tell Taurus? See, you have to have a strategy. Have a strategy, have a plan. Yep, an angel of love. Okay, let me see. And victory. This is what I'm telling you. This is beautiful. What's the bottom of the deck? The thinking woman or male, not gender specific, but you see this? All them ideas. The thinking woman have a strategy, have a plan. Um, go after your talents and your skills. You never could go wrong with that. Find out how to capitalize. Some of you may be thinking about investments because there's something here that's going to spark you. Like I said, this nine of pentacles is going to be a shake up here to spark you into your new beginnings to get to this point okay somebody gonna pay you back on something here too i just feel like somebody shafted you with money and owe you something and you're gonna get money back whatever it is you're gonna get this back is what i'm hearing here taurus okay taurus that is it i am k star you guys and if you like a reading the information will be just below the video and i will see you guys next time bye